I want to discuss uh, the economics of high-density cities, so, so kind of business model for high-density cities, so to speak. Uh, the question is, how can we make these cities uh, livable and uh, affordable to more people? Um, so in Chinese um, city, um, in Chinese characters, uh, it's made of Cheng, um, uh, which is a building and uh, you know, physical capital, and, and the Si is uh, people and, and the market. Okay, so uh, last year, Chinese um, invested more than 50% uh, of GDP uh, in urban real estate infrastructure and manufacturing jobs to create uh, uh, cities. Um, and this is a, a, a model, a, a high uh, capital intensive model for fast urbanization. So the question is whether a huge investment can create a livable cities. Now, livable cities are not just a place that's nice. Uh, livable, livable cities is about um, you know, uh, enable people to meet and, and trade easily so that they can be creative and, and uh, productive. Uh, it's a place that uh, people can use less resource and uh, um, manage the resource well. Okay, um, but we often prize cities for its capacity to generate GDP. And we can have more GDP by just uh, investing more capital in place, hire more people, you know, mass production, and we can mass produce cities with capital, right? Um, but the capital intensive urbanization uh, make people dependent on cars and other capital for their mobility and for their livelihood. And ironically, um, higher car ownership uh, does not always uh, make mobility easier in the city. And it does reduce the space uh, for, pe for pedestrian and for community life. And the mass production of housing uh, does not always make urban living affordable if people have to depend on distant jobs and depend on high consumption of energy. So the capital intensive um, urbanization uh, inevitably reach diminishing returns. And uh, this is a case in China. We can see um, the investment spree in the last decade um, has uh, made many Chinese cities highly indebted. And that shows uh, more capital investment doesn't uh, generate livable cities that can generate enough income. Um, so we need to employ our capital more smartly um, to make city do more with less so that uh, urbanization can be sustained. Uh, so capital should liberate people, uh, enable them to contribute to the communities. Um, so if we use the capital smartly, uh, livable cities doesn't have to be expensive. Um, Curitiba, uh, a Brazilian, Brazilian city, uh, about 1.7 billion people is a good example. Um, its uh, bus rapid transit system is cheap, um, it's low cost, but it's so good that it reduced the car traffic in the city by 30% while the population tripled um, in, in 20 years. And the city also has recycled programs um, that allow people to be productive. Even children can be you know, productive to, to uh, help the community to reduce waste and, and uh, make the community clean. Um, so livable cities are, are not real estate projects, right? So livable city is about choice um, of how we live and how we work. It's a choice of technology and institution that enable people to shape their built environment and the collective behavior. Uh, livability also creates high density by attracting people to um, in, in close proximity and enable public, uh, I mean, uh, collective choice that uh, manage the resource well. Right. So the good news is um, the technologies are becoming more scalable and more intelligent, and that enable um, give give more possibilities for people to be productive in different ways and to manage resources more responsibly. Um, but for the benefit of uh, the new technology to be realized, uh, we need innovation, and innovation requires uh, communities, requires collective actions um, by community that take ownership in their environment and, and uh, in, in the deployment of um, technology. Um, but one question you may ask is um, you know, whether this decentralized investment decision making by uh, smaller communities would produce inefficient cities. Um, and here we have an example of a relatively small country um, but with highly decentralized and diverse urban system. Um, so Swiss cities are uh, very efficient and um, inclusive and environmental friendly. So the question I have for you is, um, how do we enable innovations that make city do more with less and provide something for everyone? And with these innovations, high-density cities can be a livable place 
where everyone games.